Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. So today I want to talk to you guys about mouth guards and particularly the Aero Next Generation mouth guard which is, which is my brand new mouth guard that I'm going to mold today to my teeth. So I've been doing this now for about seven years and I've gone through a lot of mouth guards. Now I originally did the store bought mouth guards where you go to your local like Rebel or fitness shop and you buy one that's pretty standard and you mold to your mouth. And then I realized that I could never actually close my mouth when I was training. And when I did Muay Thai, if you don't shut your mouth, you're more than likely to get knocked out if you get punched in the face. So I decided to go for a custom molded mouth guard, which was awesome. And that lasted me about three years until recently it started to get a little bit too grubby. So this is my one here I've had forever. Now I got the clear color because I thought that would be a great idea. It looks so much cleaner. But yes, it looks cleaner because it's brand new. But over time, it starts to look a little bit yucky and miscolored. And I've not changed my mouth guard in about three years. I do wash it fairly regularly and I try to soak it and stuff like that but it starts to get a little bit gross on the inside and it's starting to kind of gross me out every time I have to put it in my mouth so I really needed a new solution so what I did I went to another dentist and I got a new mold and mouth guard thinking there's not really different types and it's all going to be just as perfect as this one was so what they do is they mold your teeth using like a I don't know clay and then you, at the end, are given this, which is your gorgeous teeth. Such a good look of my mouth. Now, I can do the rest of this video like this. Now, once you're given um, this, you're then given your mouth guard. And apparently, since you've already gotten your molds, they should be able to remold your teeth off this. Now, the guy, when he was doing this mouth guard, I felt him, like, move quite a bit. And I was like, I don't know if it's going to mold perfectly to my mouth. Now, I decided to go for a bit of a gold color, something a little bit funky. Um, you can actually get like your logo and your brand put in it as well when you go get custom on it once, which is really cool. But if you can see here, it's very rounded, and he did it with like this massive overbite. So when I put it in, it actually pushes all my teeth forward, which is not what I want to be doing. And it actually doesn't make it easy for me to shut my mouth. Um, so I can't even fully put it in my mouth it totally does not even kind of sit in there comfortably so I haven't even trained with it in because I'm not even gay enough to leave it for a certain um a certain time period for like more than a minute and I just realized it's got my nail on the inside how cool is that okay you guys get an extra point for me so I've noticed a couple guys are training had these mouth guards that look like they're not even wearing a mouth guard and they're so thin so I asked one of my buddies what the hell is he wearing and he told me exactly where to go online at $35 online and apparently I just read the instructions and it's super easy and he says it's so easy to breathe in it won't make you gag or choke like that gold one would definitely do um, and it's supposed to be amazing so I'm going to compare this to my custom uh, dentist made mouth guard so see how this goes shame doesn't come in a little um mouth guard case though I guess technically you could just keep the plastic. Okay, so this is it here. It's totally like a piece of, piece of plastic, whereas this is like a rubbery material. It's so crazy how I'm, I'm interested to know how this plastic is going to mold perfectly through my mouth. Quick fit guard. Oh, so they recommend replacing your mouth guard every year. Okay, I've totally not been replacing my mouth guard every year. Oh, this looks harder than I expected. So I've got my new plastic mouth guard washed in a bowl and I wash my hands. Now I'm just going to pour some pretty hot water into the bowl and let it sit there for about a minute to three minutes until the plastic is soft. And then it looks like I'm going to take it out and try and mold it to my mouth. And then I'm going to leave it in for about three to five minutes until it's completely stuck and firm. So. Oh, shut me up for a little bit. Okay, here we go. So the awesome thing about this math guide is if you keep making mistakes, like I just did, I don't think it was soft enough, you can keep remolding it to your mouth. So over time, what you can do is if you really need to like clean it and you can't get in between your teeth screws or something, just, just throw it in hot water, remold it, reshape it, put it back in your mouth again. I'll be completely honest, I'm finding this extremely impossible to do. Look, it's just not... It's just really not as easy as it looks. So um, let's give this another go, hey? Take three. So now I've just got this sitting there for about three to five minutes. 
Now, um, I figured out what I did wrong is I didn't make it the water hot enough. So I just made the water like boiling hot and it molded so much easier. Let's see how it goes. Feels a bit weird how I'm flushing. So all done. Um, I don't think my molding is the absolute best. I'm thinking I might give it another go. It is a little bit odd having the plastic in my mouth, but in saying that, it does feel actually quite secure. And if I do get hit in the mouth, mouth I do feel quite comfortable with it. Um, it was actually quick and easy to do once I realized how hot I need to make it. And it's pretty awesome being able to just remold it every time. I think it's going to be a lot easier to keep clean than the other ones. And um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it, especially for the price, 35 Australian dollars. And it uh, looks pretty great. So I'm pretty pumped to give this a go tomorrow. And I'll uh, let you guys know what I think. Thanks, guys. And I'll put a link below for anyone interested in getting one of these bad boys.